I'm going to tell you guys a story. Why I'm going, I go through, I go through, uh, I go through this. So, <coughs> this is one time, yeah. It's like this background, let me close the window. So, there's this one day. I went on a date with this person, eh. Actually, we went on multiple dates, Shin. We went on a lot of dates, like, hmm. it was nice. I was really feeling like, wow, things are going to go somewhere, Shin. It was even my first time, like, going on so many dates with someone that like nothing happened and we'd like just met went on dates both of us go home nothing strange just vibes hmm. so i was within the girl was up die and then um things must now genuinely escalated must know the old guy the guy was like okay no um and the thing that i really liked about this guy is like he only had one day off in the week and on his day off like he would come see me and i was like why you really just choose your like and he would spend like either half of the day or the whole day with me but nothing no kissing nothing nothing so i was like i know men of god the opter opera the opera when the vibes so then i just blew dried my hair by the way <laughs> in case anyone tries to come for my hairstyle okay i'm about i'm just, I'm just taking a break before I do cornrows, I don't know if I want to do cornrows or just like put it in a bola. But I don't want to just put it in a bola because I want to like, I'm busy growing my hair, man. So I need to see my scalp. Anyways, back to the story. Then I was like, no, I'm going to be in Frankfurt this weekend. So maybe we can go out to eat and then we can go to my place. Hi, Jati. It's fine. It's not a problem. Let's go. So then we went out to eat i think how did we do Hapo? how did we even get there ah, we yeah, we went out to eat and then we went to a shisha bar afterwards because he was like no he doesn't want to go home he wants to chase the pace so we went to the shisha bar we sat there for like three hours and why at that time egg force work make the vibe except work make dark really dark yes me because it's like here and there, like the shisha bars are like mostly um Turkish people or like Muslim people or Arab people go to like these places, you know. So a Dima Sikh work, like they really try and go, they play like two Afrobeat songs or um, hip hop, huta, but mostly it's just like, I don't know what kind of, I don't even know what, the, what kind of music to call that music, but I was just there and I had one cocktail and it was so horrible, it was so sweet and I don't like sweet things. So I'm just sitting there, I'm like, I am waiting to go home and then he's finally like oh let's go home now i'm like oh so happy finally to go home we go home first he opens the apartment and he's like oh yeah i have a uh, um flatmates i'm like it's fine i also have a flatmate most i mean it's so okay we are struggling <laughs> so he opens the door, it's like I have a flat me I'm like, oh, it's chilled, no problem. So it's like divided one section of the apartment building is of the apartment is the flatmates and one section is his and then in the middle there's a shared bathroom and kitchen. So his room was on the left. So when you go on the left you pass the bathroom and then there's like a door dividing the bathroom from the kitchen and then the kitchen has another door which leads to his room, his bedroom. But the bedroom is big it's like like kind of like a studio apartment in an apartment because he has like a car office space and then a living space like a sofa and tv right and then his bed bed mm. but when he opened the door the smell of the room like owens it was smelling like like fungus like mold it was smelling like mold and mold is a big problem here in germany because like even in my apartment if i don't open the windows like every day for 10 minutes it's gonna like cause mold to build up in the apartment because the rest of the rooms in the like the kitchen and the bathroom don't have windows so we have to like um let air through the apartment every day so that there's like no build up 
no mold buildup. So if you have mold buildup in your apartment, the apartment just ended up smelling like mold. And I don't know if it was from the walls or from the bed sheets or from the sofa or from the I don't know what, but it was just not happening. And egg, I'm a neat person. Okay, right now my my room is crazy because I bought I bought a new blanket. That's the size of my bed. But yeah, my room is a bit crazy because I also did laundry and everything. So the laundry is even hanging here. Can you even see the laundry basket? Anyways. So I was already like, huh? Ah, you should almost next happier me, my dear. To I told him like okay and then he was like no i want to like watch a movie or listen to some music or something i can't go to sleep without like something playing in the background i'm like okay fine so he puts music now we sleep ah during the sleep booty is trying to touch me my dear the over the temperature cake i'm like mm -mm. daddy take back on a rag work harder hard no i'm like mm -mm 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 -mm. then i sleep and luckily i slept with clothes on I always sleep naked by the way so I was, this time I was like ah, I'm gonna sleep with clothes on because I was really like extremely turned off guys hygiene Owens the bathroom was also not clean and the next day I had to um, shower and go visit my friend in another town I went there without taking a shower because I was like I cannot shower in this place it's disgusting I'll maybe even pick up infections and diseases and whatever that it was just a mess Jesus take the wheel so then I told him, I bo, fat me is too. <laughs> so I woke up in the morning early, even I didn't even like the alarm did not even go off early, early. The slavaker, I went to the bathroom. I just um washed my face, my brushed my teeth, got dressed, went to sit on the sofa like this, my dear, waiting for him to wake up <laughs> so I can leave. Cause like in our culture, it's rude to just like leave someone's house without saying bye so i'm waiting for him to wake up so i can go you know and then i was like ah the time is the time putty it's going so i woke him up i'm like let's go so i'm like uh i need to leave um can you please wake up so i can dip and then he wakes up and then he's like um are you gonna take the the tram to the station where i needed to leave with a bus and stuff I'm like, yeah, it's not a problem. I can do that, but I didn't have data, so I wouldn't be able to check the connections or Google Maps or anything to like get there most now. And my plan was to only buy data on the bus so that I can like contact my friend once I arrived that side. <sighs> then I was like, okay, let me drop you off at least. At up this works day. So yeah, then he dropped me off at the bus station, and then I gave him a hug, and then. I left. I didn't even like want to kiss this person. Like it was not plak het geval, plak I left the chat. So yeah. And then I left, and then from there, like Kuti is trying like to make plans to see me and stuff like that. And like I didn't even want him to come over to my place because I'm just like, what germs is it gonna bring to my apartment so, so yeah i was just trying after that but i i didn't even tell him like you know this is the reason why i don't want to talk to you anymore because that's still her play like i was just like he's even older than me i think he's like 30 35 years old like at this point at this point i shouldn't be telling people things like this so yeah anyways this story time was just to basically tell the boys that maybe your hygiene is a turn off to the girls because she can be more like beta can't me but in your apartment it's just ghetto no you must look nice everywhere look at my let me show you this is my pillowcase child it has like cute flowers dear zama i'm trying why can't you also just try anyways before this thing gets longer than 10 minutes that was my story so moral of the story is guys please hygiene number one um it doesn't have to be beautiful it just has to be clean that's what my dad always taught me you know even your toes they don't have to be beautiful they just have to be clean you have to be able to take off your shoes in any situation and not be like oh what are people gonna say about these feet of mine you know it just has to be clean anything that's clean looks beautiful cleanliness is close to godliness i need other cleanliness quotes right now because hi <coughs> 
so with that said see you next time i'm gonna start making more videos this is actually very comfortable i didn't feel weird i always feel awkward when i record myself but do as of time oh my gosh a spider i need to kill it before it goes to the rest of my room okay guys um see you next time have a lovely weekend peace